and Gara. Welcome to CSD Live as we continue our webcast series. And today's topic is internet safety. You, your computer, and all this garbage. So really, what, what is all of this garbage? Have, I mean, have you heard of these things before that you can see here on the PowerPoint? If not, that's fine. If you're using the internet, it means that you and your computer are being exposed to all of these every single day. You put yourself and your information at risk of being stolen. Spyware. Really, what this means is that it's a program that collects small pieces of information about you. Uh, it could be the user, and it could be um, with, you, with you knowing as well. And really, these are um, hidden files, and they're very difficult to detect. They are secretly installed. Next, we have what's called Trojans. Now, in Trojans, this is, um, well, software, it appears to perform a very desirable function, something that you may be interested in, but once it's installed, it actually steals information and it can harm your computer system. Next, our next topic is malware. And this means it can be any program that secretly accesses your computer with your permission. Next, we have Virus. Now again, this is a computer program that can copy itself. And then from there on out, once your computer has that virus, it can spread, and then it can spread from one computer to the next. So if it starts with my computer, I can be copying, or it can be copying itself and be spreading to other computers. Next we have is something that's called worms. Um, this kind of software can be a self-replicating program, program which sends out copies of itself. Next we have phishing, which is P-H-I-S-H-I-N-G. It sounds just like phishing. This is something that's attempting to acquire information from your computer. Uh, it could be your username, it could be password, it could be your credit card information. It kind of masquerades itself as a trustworthy electronic communication. Next we have spam. And really, I'm sure most of you know what spam, or sp what spam is. You know, at home, you have a bunch of junk mail that you have to sort through, and you have to find the mail that you actually want to keep. It's like receiving a lot of advertising that you really don't want. Spam is really, it's the same idea. It's when you're getting sent a lot of garbage, a lot of junk mail that you don't want, and you have to kind of pick through it to see what's, what's important and what's not important. Oftentimes, junk mail is sent to a large group of people. Out of the billions of emails sent globally, over 75% is spam. Now we have hacking. And this is really, you know, someone who has, someone from the outside is coming into your system and stealing your information. It could be even taking control over your computer. It also means that you're not giving them permission, but they do have access to your account. Um, and it could be a way for them to try to trick you. And really, I mean, stop. The goal is to keep you, really, to keep you and your information safe, right? So how exactly do we do this? Well, the only way to guarantee that it's 100% safe is to unplug your computer or not plug it in at all to the Internet. But then again, you know, what's the point of having a computer? So what do we do? Well, when your computer is getting email through the internet, you're going to get different sorts of emails, different sites, excuse me, different kinds of files and whatnot. 
And it's important to explain how we can block these things. And you're going to get these things through email, internet sites, or contaminated files. Again, it's extremely important to go ahead and get rid of all of this garbage. And that's really our discussion for Internet Safety Day. If you are curious and have any questions that you would like to send us, please email us. Again, our email address is csdlive at c-s-d.org. So do we have any questions we can go ahead and answer right now? There we go. Perfect. Karen, thank you so much. Karen's question says, how do viruses happen? Well, to be honest, people make them either to be mean or because they, uh, when they want to steal information. It's very unfortunate. Our next question is from Jose. Now, Jose is asking, I have a Mac computer. Do I have the same kind of worries? Uh, it's actually an interesting question. They can. Um, it's, it's definitely possible that it can impact your Mac computer or your PC. Um, but it's actually very rare. But it's still important to, to be cautious no matter what, no matter what kind of computer you have. Again, well, thank you for joining us. And to remember in the future to continue to tune into our live broadcasts. Thank you.